Last time on Quilt Meets World, these pieces, they're not lining up. Ah! Good afternoon, everybody. I need to apologize for my live earlier. I I got a little frustrated at the end, and it was all my fault. Uh, I kind of felt that at the end. So if you felt me being frustrated, I am sorry. Uh, I was going back and looking at everything and figured out exactly what I did wrong. And it was nothing to do with the pattern. It was actually absolutely everything to do with me. Uh, when I printed my triangulations page, uh, there is a setting in the print settings that has the option to shrink to the printer or print exact size. And uh, somehow my setting got changed to print the, um, to shrink to fit. Uh, I think it's because of something that I printed recently, but that's besides the point. To show you the difference, this is what I had used this morning. And this is a properly printed size. So if I line these up on top of each other, and I'm going to line the inside edge, you can see there is a giant uh, difference on this side right here uh, towards the middle of the screen. The, the top page is what is, was printed this morning. The bottom page, the page that's in the back, is what I printed this afternoon. <laughs> So that is off by about a quarter of an inch, uh, maybe an eighth of an inch. No, I'm going to go for a quarter of an inch. Uh, and that caused my half square triangles to be off. And when I was trying to put it together, uh, I, I should have known something was off. Or I should have stopped myself when I said my two and a half feels a little big. But it just didn't click at that point. And when I got those four patches put together and tried to put them together with uh, the squaring of squares, that's when I was like, something doesn't feel right. And I did go pretty far. Uh, I got the rows done. And then I measured. And I was coming out at uh, just over or just under 12 and a quarter inches for a 12 and a half unfinished block. So... I ended the live and I came back to my stuff and I started to redo all of my stuff. I like I still have all of the old blocks here because who knows if I'm going to need them? Probably not, but uh, I need, just in case, I started going through stuff and I did not have enough of this floral, the um th th this triangle floral, to remake the blocks. If I had not done my square and square method, I would have had plenty. So I had to go to the local quilt shop and buy more fabric. It's probably a little bit better that I did because they expect us to have a certain amount of leftovers. And I may not have enough leftover of the um, light blue. But, you know, if I don't have enough, then I will um actually buy some more as well <laughs> so i went to local quilt shop uh i bought some more of the floral i bought some other stuff that you know i probably didn't need but i wanted i may or may not show that off later came home and i managed to get the block done so i just want to show everybody that i did get the block done uh i got the saturday sampler block done it looks gorgeous. It now looks right now that everything is the right size. Everything went together so smoothly with all everything in the right triangulation size. But that was one of those. I was just like, I have no idea what I'm doing. So I just want to do a quick video just to show everybody that I did do it right. The other thing that I did is because when, when I was looking at the back of these sample blocks, I said, that it would have been nice if this was flipped the other direction because then it would have spun a little bit nicer. And that's what I did on the back there. Uh, I was able to use my own advice and spin this uh, and had all the seams spinning a little bit more nicely. So everything, like I said, is come together a lot better. 
I am now happy with this block. Uh, my points seem to be going fairly well in the center. Uh, I just did my standard um, hope and pray method. And I am excited for this. So if you joined me and are doing your own version of Saturday Sampler, uh, I would like to figure out how I, one day I really do need to create a Facebook page for everybody to share. That's on my list of when I have time to start researching these things. Uh, if you're not doing it, that's great as well. So uh, I hope to see you next time. Toodles.